Hello everybody, this is Ali here from All Saints Isleworth. I'm going to lead us in our time of prayer for today, Tuesday the 23rd of February. Let's have a moment of quiet as we begin. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Hear my prayer, O oh Lord, and give ear to my cry. Hold not your peace at my tears. A prayer of thanksgiving. Blessed are you, God of compassion and mercy. To you be praise and glory forever. In the darkness of our sin, your light breaks forth like the dawn, and your healing springs up for deliverance. As we rejoice in the gift of your saving help, sustain us with your bountiful spirit, and open our lips to sing your praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. Amen. Our psalm for today is Psalm 6. O Lord, rebuke me not in your wrath, neither chasten me in your fierce anger. Have mercy on me, Lord, for I am weak. Lord, heal me, for my bones are racked. My soul also shakes with terror. How long, O Lord, how long? Turn again, O Lord, and deliver my soul. Save me for your loving mercy's sake. For in death no one remembers you. And who can give you thanks in the grave? I am weary with my groaning. Every night I drench my pillow and flood my bed with my tears. My eyes are wasted with grief and worn away because of all my enemies. Depart from me, all you that do evil, for the Lord has heard the voice of my weeping. The Lord has heard my supplication. The Lord will receive my prayer. All my enemies shall be put to shame and confusion. They shall suddenly turn back in their shame. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our short reading today comes from 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verses 24 to the end. 1 Corinthians 9, starting to read at verse 24. Paul writes, Do you not know that in a race the runners all compete, but only one receives the prize? Run in such a way that you may win it. Athletes exercise self-control in all things. They do it to receive a perishable garland, but we an imperishable one. So I do not run aimlessly, nor do I box as though beating the air, but I punish my body and enslave it, so that after proclaiming to others, I myself should not be disqualified. Blessed are the merciful, for they will receive mercy. In these few short verses, Paul is speaking about the self-discipline that is required for running the Christian race. And Lent is a time in particular when we focus on that self-discipline through fasting from something. Some people I know have given up chocolate and caffeine. 
Other people have given up alcohol. It may be that you have given something up too. Or it may be that you're exercising your self-discipline for God through doing something that you don't normally do. There are all sorts of ways in which we can model ourselves on athletes exercising self-control in order to run the race. I don't know whether you've won any awards ever or whether you've uh, won prizes at school sports days or in school competitions, but you'll know that it's really exciting to win a prize. Paul speaks here of the athletes winning a garland, a garland made of laurel wreaths maybe, a sign that they are the winners of the athletic competition. I've never won a prize for sports, you'll be surprised to hear, uh, but I have won prizes for music, for uh, contribution to, the, to my school community when I was at school, and uh, other such prizes like that. And it does make us proud. But what Paul reminds us is that however proud, however thrilled we may be to win such a prize, even if it isn't flowers, nevertheless, it is a perishable prize. It won't last forever. But Paul says that if as Christians we run the race as if we're going to win it, then the prize, the garland that we will receive, will be an imperishable one. It will be eternal life. And so Paul says he's not running aimlessly. He's not boxing at shadows. For Paul, there's no running around in a panic or running around like a headless chicken. He runs in order to complete the race, to live life as God wants him to, knowing that as he engages in all the self-control and self-discipline that's necessary to do that, it will be worth it because the end will be imperishable life, life with God for eternity. And so as we move through Lent, as we uh, continue to observe the things that we've given up or as we continue to be self-disciplined about the extra things that we are doing, then let's remember that uh, we're doing this for God and we're doing it because of the eternal life that he gives to us. We come now to our time of prayer. In penitence and faith, let us make our prayer to the Father and ask for his mercy and grace. For your holy people, that they may triumph over evil and grow in grace, we pray to you, O Lord. For the leaders of the nations, that you will guide them in the ways of mercy and truth, we pray to you, O Lord. For the needy, that they may not be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away, we pray to you, O Lord, for the poor in spirit, that they may inherit the kingdom of heaven and see you face to face. We pray to you, O Lord. Let us commend the world for which Christ suffered to the mercy and protection of God. Collect for today. Teach us, good Lord, to serve you as you deserve, to give and not to count the cost, to fight and not to heed the wounds, to toil and not to seek for rest, to labour 
and not to seek for any reward, save that of knowing that we do your will. Amen. We bring our prayer time to a close now by joining together in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May God, our Redeemer, show us compassion and love. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. So thank you for joining me again today for this time of prayer, and uh, I'll be posting another one tomorrow with a short reflection. Take care. Bye.